What's up, y'all? Lee Series Pro Matt Erie here. That's a big one. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. God, that's my horn. Leaned on my horn, I thought fish gonna eat me. And Matt Airy is your brand new leader. I wanna take y'all into the man cave and show you some of my must-haves. All right, let's slide over here first to, uh, my, I say my organizational area. It's not so organized right now, so forgive me. But um, got a big workbench here. Okay, first and foremost, the workbench and the slap board. And I say slap board because I didn't like the pegboard. That stuff just tends to tear up over time. The slap board is a lot more durable, uh, looks a little bit nicer, and it's easier to move some of my stuff around. You can see I've got all my bait stored up here on the slap board. It goes all the way down the length of the workbench. Uh, the workbench here, up underneath, up underneath, I've got a, a, a good sturdy shelf to store all my Bass Mafia boxes, all my extra tackle between tournaments, um, and that's what we are. We're between tournaments right now. That's why it's such a mess. Uh, got my Lorentz ele electronic uh, stored up top on the shelf. Uh, you go down through here, got extra reels, uh, baskets with just odd and end stuff. Um, we got extra, got extra lens cleaner. Can't never have too much lens cleaner. Um, anyway, this is how I kind of organize my tackle. Uh, and, uh, and try to keep it somewhat organized to where I'm more efficient when I come home from a tournament and I'm trying to change stuff out in the boat here. Uh, another must have that I put, and, uh, and this, this, this was a tip, hot tip from a buddy of mine, is a drain in the floor right here, okay? We put, we put 10 foot doors on the shop so we can back the boat in here. Uh, don't like to put our fire poles down when we do that. Uh, but having a drain is a big deal. When I go to the local lakes around here, um, I come in, I trim my motor down. I always keep my motor trimmed all the way down too, just to let all the water and everything drain out of it. Um, but having drains in the floor of the shop, that's a must have. Um, let's slide over here. This is the Man Cave Corner. And we play an occasional card game. We're actually gonna have a little card game tonight. Um, fellow Elite Series pros, a couple of them are coming over. Well, I say a couple of them. I know Limeburger's in. Uh, still waiting to hear from uh, from some other ones. But uh, this is the uh, the game room, so to speak. This is a card table, and, and uh, we have a lot of fun in this corner, needless to say. This is when your buddies are over playing cards, and they uh, they play a little too hard, so to speak, and they may not be able to uh, to drive straight home. Got a restroom here. And in here we've got a little bit of thing. Gives them a place to crash if they need it. We don't want anybody doing anything stupid around here. So that gives you an idea of some of my must-haves. In my man cave, I've got a couple little shelves right here where I store all my hunting stuff. Hunting is probably my number one passion, and uh, that's where I spend a lot of time when I'm actually not on the road fishing. So um, gotta have some organization for my hunting stuff. Uh, but you see the shop, and that's a. Uh, that's pretty much it, but that, uh, that's some of my must-haves, and uh, a, lot of them, uh, a lot of them have been, uh, been very useful over the years. I've, I've made some mistakes and, and learned from some other buddies that have some man caves, and, and uh, when I, I waited a while until we built this one to make sure I got everything that I needed, and uh, I'm sure there's something I'm missing. We'll try to figure that out later.